It looks like the Burn Knox Westerlo School District will not be facing a cell phone lawsuit. The attorney representing the young man whose phone was confiscated in class last week and then searched, turning up indecent photos of an underage girl, tells me he expects to resolve this without going to court. But it has still raised a tough question. Does a school have the right to search the contents of your child's cell phone? The superintendent of Burn Knox Westerlo told me he couldn't discuss the case or anything about school policies on cell phone seizure. Last week, a 14-year-old student's iPhone was taken away when the student was caught using it in class. No one has a problem with that, but the student's family and attorney have said the school searched the phone's contents and discovered inappropriate pictures of a fellow underage student, something that could rise to the level of child pornography. Disturbing? Yes, but... Does a district have the right to take a phone and then to go through it and see its contents. And the question really becomes, uh, you know, when they're taking the phone there. Michael Maycomer, an associate attorney at Tully Rinky, says there's no easy answer to whether Burn Knox Westerlo was infringing on the student's privacy by searching the phone's contents. I think it's a gray area. Um, you know, the question then becomes how far can they go in their search? And with the technology these days, I mean, phones are miniature computers holding, you know, gigabytes of information. There's a lot of information in there and can a school just go, you know, all over the place searching the phone, you know, soup to nuts? Probably not. These days most schools have a policy about the use of electronics devices in the classroom. Here in South Colony, that policy says that if someone is caught using an iPhone or an iPod, any type of electronic device, it can be confiscated. But the policy stops short of saying whether or not the school can go through the contents. The same is true at Burn Knox Westerlo, though searches of things like lockers and backpacks are permissible with suspicion, citing that students should expect no privacy in those areas. There's no specific mention of searching an electronic device. The technology is just ever expanding and, and we as the legal community are constantly trying to keep up and, and, and address it. You know, I think it's going to be very hard for a school to have a policy. You know, or, I mean, they may have a very general policy, but you're not going to have a clear rule, this is what needs to be done, because every situation is different. Maycomer says typically attorneys will look at past case law when confronted with something like this, a first-of-its-kind issue, but as there's little to refer back to here. So how should it be handled? We're discussing that on Facebook, and it's the subject of tonight's CBS 6 Albany Talk 1300 web poll question. Should schools have the right to go through confiscated cell phones? Yes or no? You can answer by going to our website, cbs6albany.com. We'll have results tonight at 630.